Hello, thank you for joining PagerDuty and Slack's session, Streamlining Incident Management. I am Maya King, an Integration Product Manager at PagerDuty, and today I will be sharing the latest PagerDuty Slack enhancements and what the future holds for our application. I also have Logan Franny, a Senior Developer Solutions Manager at Slack, and he will be sharing Slack's perspective on digital operations and best practices for incident management with PagerDuty and Slack. Let's start with a brief overview of how PagerDuty drives incident management in Slack. PagerDuty's digital operations platform enables responders to quickly resolve business impacting incidents, drive real-time operations, connect teams, provide incident visibility, and, and create a centralized incident management system with all pertinent data at a customer's fingertips. With over 7,000 shared customers, adding PagerDuty's functionality to Slack transforms business and incident communication. Slack is the leading channel-based messaging platform used by millions to align their teams, unify their systems, and drive their business forward. Our joint integration combines digital operations and incident management with collaboration enabling responders to work where they are. Now for what's new. At PagerDuty, we reimagined the PagerDuty Slack application integration process to be simple and flexible. Each incident response team can, be, can define their own incident channel experience via the connection management page with incident channel filtering. Setup has also been made easy for large enterprise and mid-market customers with API automation via Terraform. On our centralized connection management page, PagerDuty admins can connect multiple Slack workspaces to multiple PagerDuty accounts to ensure organization-wide incident visibility. For response teams that centralize incident response in their chat tool, a PagerDuty team can be connected to a Slack channel to decrease incident confusion after team reassignment, ensure the correct team has incident visibility, and supports a streamlined incident remediation process. Next, we improve the in internal incident communication process by adding stakeholder updates to the Slack interface. After reaching an in incident milestone, responders can quickly collaborate and share an incident update with internal customer facing teams like support, sales and solution consultants. Having access to create a stakeholder update in Slack reduces context switching and encourages internal incident communication. Furthermore, we enabled responders to add a resolution note to an incident and send that note as a final stakeholder update. Once an incident update has been created, stakeholders can view field facing incident information plus the incident update in a dedicated stakeholder channel. Enabling stakeholders to view the business health and incident status will increase incident visibility and minimize responder distractions. The PagerDuty analytics feature brings key insights into Slack, providing quick and easy access to important metrics where they work. Slack insights subscriptions allow you to evaluate metrics on a reoccurring basis making it easier to identify trends and changes. Lastly, we're excited to announce our Slack migration widget. With one click, a PagerDuty admin can migrate all their Slack connections to our latest Slack v2 application. During migration, customers will not experience any downtime and will gain access to latest PagerDuty functionality from Slack. Using PagerDuty's Slack v2 application will empower organizations to effectively streamline incident remediation with PagerDuty's powerful real-time operations platform. For the remainder of the year, we will be focusing on improving responder ease of use and efficiency. We know that faster assembly with incident details and actions at a responder's fingertips in their chat tool leads to faster incident acknowledgement and thus quick incident resolution and less downtime for our customers. With the recent acquisition of RunDeck, PagerDuty will be releasing RunBook actions. 
These automated actions are the easiest way for responders to run a diagnostic script or a remediation response directly on a service. Every second counts. Instead of accessing a service through a terminal window, stay in chat and choose from a list of runbook actions associated to the service. Next, we will be redefining incident chat communication by empowering all call responders to receive an incident notification via a direct message from their chat tool. This will decrease the need for admin setup, support incident response teams that are centralized around their chat tools, and lower telecommunication costs for responders across multiple regions. Now that you have heard about our upcoming PagerDuty Slack enhancements, let's hear from Logan and his recommendations for successful incident management with PagerDuty Slack application. Hi, my name is Logan Franey and I'm a Senior Developer Solutions Manager at Slack. You know the feeling you get when you hear the word war room? You feel panic, adrenaline, stress, frustration. Something is wrong and you're getting pressure from executives, business stakeholders, and customers to fix it. But if you think one level deeper, there are some features about war rooms that make that feeling so much worse than it really needs to be. And the fact that now it's virtual via Zoom doesn't help. Now, first, the entire process is stalled, waiting for someone to set up the war room and for people to arrive. Then, when you're in the flow, new joiners can interrupt and completely derail the conversation. And when you're in the middle of it, you can't see or remember what's occurred, and you don't have context for side conversations that you were left out of that happen in chats or emails. And maybe even worse with major incidents, there are too many cooks in the kitchen, and you're trying to make sense of all the chatter, all the findings, and all the decisions. And finally, after you actually fix the problem, you have to wait until you can get the team together again to do a post-mortem or incident review. And no one remembers exactly what happened anyways, because it's not like anyone was taking full on notes during the middle of the fire. And this results in preventative measures and lessons learned taking potentially weeks to get incorporated to improve the situation going forward. And no surprise here, all of this contributes to more wasted time, slower incident resolution, and the one that we all mutter under our breaths when it's all over, the cost of all the people involved. Now, from my own experience in IT and what I've seen from customers that use Slack and PagerDuty together, there are a few key requirements if you want to more efficiently and effectively manage incidents. First, you've got to get the right people in the right place as fast as you can. This means reducing the time from the alert to declaring an incident and also ensuring that everyone who is on call begins troubleshooting ASAP. Second, and very obviously, you want to resolve the incident quickly. To do this, late responders and critical stakeholders need to get up to speed immediately, but without causing interruption to that core technical team. Now, these two, these two requirements may seem in conflict, but I can show you how you can solve both problems at the same time. And finally, after resolution, you need to learn from mistakes and action on improvements to prevent similar issues in the future. Completing a postmortem that is not only accurate, but also comprehensive within days and not weeks is key. To do that, the entire incident and the entire incident and all the details must be preserved and accessible immediately after, and the learnings must be easily searchable and actionable to make a difference. Now, most of our customers know that they can resolve incidents faster using PagerDuty and Slack. But what they really want to ask us for is guidance for what ideal incident management looks like. So I'm going to walk you through Slack's perspective of the end to end incident management process so you can improve your own process and time to resolution right after you watch the session. So first, before an incident begins, your APM tool or your monitoring tools automatically send alerts through PagerDuty to the appropriate channel. Maybe it's your team channel, it's an app or infrastructure alerts channel. It's really up to you. And in that Slack alert, using the PagerDuty integration, you can declare that incident along with the severity and other details with the push of a button, all within Slack. And then what PagerDuty now does is automatically spins up a new channel for that specific incident. So on-call responders are automatically invited to that channel and pinged. 
and a notification can be sent to a larger incident channel for visibility across technical as well as business teams. So everyone's aware of the situation, even if they aren't actually needed for troubleshooting. And so instead of manually starting a Zoom call, waiting for someone to see an email, and hoping that responders get in there quick, troubleshooting can begin literally within seconds for what used to take 10 to 15 minutes. Now, as the situation evolves, other teams and stakeholders enter the channel, but when they join, there's no interruption. So instead of announcing themselves and asking for an update, they can simply scroll through the channel to see exactly what happened. And more importantly, get only the level of context that they need. So someone like an executive can enter the channel and ramp up on the situation, begin a separate thread in that same channel on how to communicate this to customers, while those dev and ops teams stay focused and don't get interrupted. And now each team or squad can have a separate thread for high velocity topics, topics where there's a lot of back and forth, forth for things like, let's say, database or cloud infrastructure, anything like app performance. Um, and that, that doesn't flood the channel and create unnecessary noise for this potentially large cross-functional resolution team. Responders can mark that they've seen something with an eyes emoji. They can show support for this approach with a thumbs up, and they can show they've completed tasks with a check mark. So when there's a key finding, a decision, or an action that comes from the thread, they can just post that back in the main channel so everyone continues to have that level of information that they need. Now you can clearly see how this efficient collaboration and total visibility across teams and subteams reduces MTTR and re results in faster time to resolution. Now, in the heat of the moment during an incident, you don't have time to take notes about all the ideas and improvements so you can prevent these issues from happening in the future. But what you can do is simply mark specific messages or threads with something like a light, a light bulb emoji. Not only can you see this during the postmortem, but simply even using this emoji can kick off an automated workflow that shares these messages in something like an incident review channel so you can easily find them later. And for each insight, you can start a separate thread in that channel. Again, so you're not flooding it top to bottom like you would with email or other collaboration tools, or God forbid, having another hour long meeting. And postmortems and incident reviews become painless and easy since you have a time stamped audit trail of exactly what happened, the decisions that were made, and various observability metrics that happen at specific times, and exactly who said what. Now, all of this helps to create the ideal incident review that is blameless, non-biased, and accurate. And this is because everything is already captured and each of those incident channels is preserved. And so you can complete an uh, incident review or a postmortem the very next day and immediately action on ideas for improvement and prevention to make sure that this type of incident doesn't happen again. And that is the end-to-end -end ideal incident management process with PagerDuty and Slack. Thanks, Logan. As you can see, PagerDuty plus Slack is the best of both worlds for digital operations. For more information on our Slack integration, please check out PagerDuty's integration page. Thanks all for joining.